As many hit the shops for Black Friday, police across the state are stepping up patrols to keep people safe. The Knox County Organized Retail Crime Unit made more than 258 arrests since October. New numbers from the Sheriff's Office say deputies got back over $230,000 worth of stolen property and over $100,000 in cash. Reporter Mary Klingler has the latest from Knox County Sheriff's Office. Yeah, Katie, that's right. Shoplifting is not a victimless crime. The sheriff says that shoplifting costs everyone money because the price of other items increase as a result. It's a cost to the taxpayers. Anytime anything is stolen, then it's an increase on other items within the stores. Sheriff Tom Spangler says it's up to all of us to stop shoplifters. We ask people if they see anything, and this has always been going on for years, if they see anything at all that's... Uh, Suspicious. We ask them to call 911. If you see something, say something. At least get that information to us. Let us look into it. The sheriff says that's how majority of shoplifters are caught. We will make sure that we're out there, but we also have to rely on the support from our community. Rule of thumb, never approach someone you suspect is shoplifting. Don't step forward. You don't know what that person could be armed. You don't know what condition that individual is in. So don't approach anybody, but just make sure that you, as we would recommend, be the best witness you can be. Back in January, Knox County reported making a total of 465 arrests during the holiday period. At the start of this holiday season, we're more than halfway there. We still have another month and a half to go, so it kind of gives you an idea. With Christmas coming up, it's, it's going to pick up even more. Spangler says people who steal or shoplift are often associated with other crimes. It's like that any time that we get somebody for shoplifting, it's to add to their habit, if you will. They're trying to steal something to go sell and take that money and go buy their drugs with. He says those shoplifting arrests led police to recover three pounds of heroin, five pounds of meth and 40 guns. Now, Sheriff says when you're out shopping, you should always lock your valuables in the trunk of your car. Katie, thanks, Mary.